Hi, I'm Chuck Walla, former Senate Majority Leader. And I'm Scott Jensen, former Assembly Speaker. And we're the insiders. So Scott, we've got Tommy Thompson as the interim head of the University of Wisconsin. What's your take as the former chief of staff and often uh, political collaborator? Where, where you at? And by the way, why are you not on the transition team? Oh, <laughs> he's got plenty of help. There's a lot of Thompson staffers who work at the university. So he's got plenty of folks to work with. This is sort of a dream uh, capstone to Tommy Thompson's career. He's the right man for the challenge that lies ahead here at the university. I'm sure he was excited to hear the title, probably focused more on the word President Thompson than he did on interim. Um, but I think that Tommy, uh, if anyone thinks he's going to be an interim president at the university, uh, they're sadly mistaken. He is not going to take this year or two that he has um, and spend it just being a cheerleader for the university, running around talking about all the great programs they have. Tommy Thompson is a reformer at heart, um, and he's a guy who knows how to build political coalitions. So my friends in the Republican legislature are probably nervous about Tommy Thompson making the sales pitch for more money for the university, um, but the Democrats are probably nervous about the sort of reforms he's going to propose. But we've seen him do this before with welfare reform and with education reform at the K-12 level, he's able to get both sides to say, okay, we need more money and more reform in order to get a better result for the taxpayers. And that needs to happen at the university. Too many voters, too many citizens of this state are beginning to question whether or not the cost of the degree is worth the value of it. Uh, it's, there's a lot of questions about whether families can continue to afford uh, to get this sort of education, and yet it's more important uh, than it ever has been. So I'm hopeful that Tommy will be able to build, as always, a consensus that, that we need more reform and more resources at the UW. I think this is a case of be careful what you wish for. This is a very dangerous situation. Tommy Thompson has great expectations, as Scott just outlined, for what he can do. But I'll tell you, Robin Voss, and whoever succeeds Fitzgerald, these are not fans of education, certainly not public education, much less the university. It's going to be a difficult dance for them to provide resources for Tommy Thompson while not providing it for other areas. Will they be willing to do this? I see Walker, um, Robin Voss, these guys, they are post-Tommy Thompson. They are not healers and bringing people together. They are into partisan division every day of the week. I think it's going to be very interesting to watch what happens with Robin Voss and the interaction with Tommy Thompson. I think that the governor also has a lot of challenges with shared governance and how do you provide reforms. And I think the idea that he's going to be able to get more resources for the university, which I agree with you, Scott, are absolutely required. To be able to do that with the difficult challenges that the next budget is going to have, in light of having Robin Voss and the Republican in charge of the legislature, probably going to be true. That's going to be a very challenging environment. It all sounds great right now. You know, Tommy Thompson is a, is a reformer and a leader, but it's a very different th thing to be governor trying to do that than to be the president of the university navigating faculty, students, Robin Voss, and the governor's office. This will be an interesting one to watch. Chuck, you've forgotten where Robin Voss's political career started. Tommy Thompson appointed him to the Board of Regents at the University of Wisconsin. I think those two will work well together when it comes to getting resources and the reforms that the UW needs. Given the challenges the budget is going to face next year, I'll be very interested to watch it, and it will be fun to watch. But it will definitely be entertaining with having Governor Thompson in as the president, for, even if it's for the interim. And definitely with Robin Voss, the governor, and the Democrats, it's going to be fun. It's popcorn time. Tommy never disappoints. We'll see you next week.